The Eden Project itself is built in a clay pit, uh, a mine for kaolin, uh, which was set up in the 1800s, and it went derelict um, around 1997-98 when we purchased it, uh, and saw it as a, a wonderful uh, opportunity to create a symbol uh, of regeneration and transformation. Those words are often uh, rather bandied about casually, but we saw the clay district, which is the spine in the middle of Cornwall, uh, as being in need of huge regeneration because people were looking at it as a place of decay and hopelessness and yet when you walked in the hills near here and just looked out at the ocean you wondered why on earth we were so depressed about it that's perhaps a particularly British perspective uh, and we thought that to build something that was astonishing if that's the right word um, would create a, a sense of optimism about places that otherwise might have appeared to be beyond redemption uh, so for us the first stage was to take this place and create life and we uh, began with the biggest earth-making contract in history. We made nearly 90,000 tonnes of soil using China clay waste and all the various composts that come from a whole range of food, food and production processes, uh, about seven or eight different recipes for the different roots of plants that we were growing. Then we wanted to show how clever human beings could be, because I think one of the things we often forget is we're a clever little species, Homo sap. Um, and one of the great things about sustainability we forget is that, okay, you might like to come at it as if the world's going to hell in a handcart. The other way of looking at it is the hubris of giving us the name of the wise hominid, Homo sapiens, is that we're probably facing a challenge as large as any since we came off the savannas. Uh, and isn't it rather wonderful to be living at a time when the challenge being thrown down is actually worthy of the name we've given ourselves? And I think it's a very hopeful position to be in. So the second uh, main driver for us was to see uh, whether we could build these huge conservatories here in a way that was totally fit for purpose, that uh, as opposed to being a monument to the vanity of architects, really did give plants the very best chance and use the minimum amount of energy. In fact, our uh, big conservatories use less energy than our domestic greenhouses with which we propagate plants off-site. Uh, they're fantastically efficient. We only heat them for two and a half to three months a year. And the third thing was to explore uh, new forms of management. I mean, we are all, uh, all the senior team here are predominantly of a commercial, coming from a commercial background, um, but with a sort of ethical heartbeat, if that isn't to claim too much. We wanted to run it uh, as a social enterprise, which is, broadly speaking, with the rigours of the commercial marketplace, but the ethics of citizenship. 